Hello, this is Dr. Ben Finio here with Dr. Ben Finio, Dr. Ben Finio, and Dr. Ben Finio to show you how you can appear in multiple Zoom videos at once. So this isn't done with some fancy post-processing video editing trick or body doubles, it's done using Zoom's virtual background feature while logged into the meeting on multiple computers simultaneously. If you don't have multiple computers you can use, you would need to get some friends in on the trick and have them set a photo or video of you as their own virtual background. So, if you're not familiar with the virtual background tool, let's show you how to do it on a single computer before we worry about doing it on multiple computers. Now, the virtual background tool takes a picture or a video and digitally puts it behind your head. This is a useful feature people use just if you want to have a fun background or maybe if you are taking class or working from home and you want to hide your messy bedroom and unfolded laundry behind you. To set a virtual background, move your mouse down to the bottom left of the zoom screen and click the up arrow next to stop video. Then select choose virtual background. This will open a window where you can select from different default virtual backgrounds that come included with zoom. You can also click the plus button to select an image or video from your computer that you have recorded yourself. For example, I have a separate video showing how to do this process to make a video where you appear in the background of your own meeting. So, to get this working on multiple computers, you just need to record several videos and repeat the process on each computer. You can record a selfie video with your phone, or if you really want to make it look like you're sitting at your computer, on Windows you can use the camera app which will take photos or videos from your webcam. The video linked in the description will show you how to do that. After recording all the videos, you will need to save each video locally on the computer where you want to use it. So if you're going to have friends helping you out with this, you might need to email them the video, or if it's too large, share it with them using a tool like Google Drive. Now, after getting the proper file to each device, you'll need to be careful about a few things. One, some older computers and phones can't run a video as a virtual background. They might not be able to do the virtual background at all, or they might only be able to do a picture and not a video. You can see I'm actually logged in on my phone for one of these devices, and this can't run video, so I had to settle for a static image here. Next, you'll want to have the camera for each device aimed at a static background or a blank wall because if somebody walks in front of this, then they're going to show up in front of the virtual background and it's going to ruin the effect that it looks like it's actually a video of you. So these two laptops and my phone, I just have aimed at blank walls in my office instead of aimed at me, where their cameras would be picking up parts of me that would appear in front of the virtual backgrounds. Finally, I did not attempt to do it here, and I'm sure somebody on the internet can one-up me on this, but if you wanted to get really fancy with timing, you can make it look like you're passing yourself things between frames. For example, if I take this eraser and pass it out the left border of this frame, and time the background in the other video, I can make it look like I'm handing myself the eraser out the right edge of that frame. That would get a little more difficult, and again, I didn't bother trying to do it for this video, but if you wanted to be really fancy, you could give it a shot. So, as always, I hope you found that useful. Maybe this will bring a little lighthearted fun to teaching online with Zoom. If you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion for another tutorial, please leave a comment below this video. Thank you.